day, good people. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Monday again, and I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. We did so much. We had the lupus walk with my sister-in-law and my sister next to me. Her birthday was May the 19th, so we had a little celebration at her house, and that was a lot of fun. Um, but y'all, let me show y'all. I know I brought y'all out here last week. I think it was last week. I brought you to the she shed and I showed y'all how uh, those flowers had not bloomed out yet. But let me show you what they have done today. Well, actually, they bloomed um, probably like Friday. They started blooming. But look at the color that they produced. So pretty. I have to insert y'all a picture of what they were looking like before they came out. And do y'all remember when I told you when I first bought these flowers, they had pebbles on them, but then the rain came and um, knocked all the pebbles off, pebbles off? Well, the rain came back last night and it tried to do the same thing, but it didn't do this bad. But these are so pretty and they all are pink. I love them. And over here on this side, these bloom out to that beautiful orange color. Ain't that pretty? I got that one pink one on the end. But it sure do take these buds a long time to open up. What I think I'm gonna do is uh, eventually taking these flowers here out and probably put them down in with this planter here because these will actually come back. These are perennials, and I didn't know it until like much later after I had put them in this window planter here. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take them out and put them in the planter. But ain't that pretty? I love that orange, a peach or coral or whatever color it is. That is just gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. And oh, I do wanted to show y'all something too. Um, I have a baby shower that I'm going to coming up soon in June. And um, I bought this little, um, um, it's a big guy, I hope I have enough light in here. Um, and I'm going to uh, take it and put a bunch of baby gifts inside of like wipes, diapers, lotion, baby wash and stuff like that. Let me show y'all these things. That cute. I already have my um shrink wrap bag. I'm just gonna give it one. Um, so I'm gonna fill it up with diapers and wipes and you know little baby things, maybe a t-shirt or two. No bottles because everybody breastfeed these days, so I ain't gotta worry about buying bottles. But I thought that was the cutest thing over there. And I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the oven, but I it was so pretty. I just couldn't resist leaving it, you know, at the store. Um, but it's made out of, um, it's called paper rope. Paper rope, um, it's another name with it, but I can't get the name right now. Oh, let me see, there's a tag on there. And these came from Aldi, they were regular $40, but I got them for 20 a piece. Oh, okay, it's called, um, Novelty paper rope basket. It is so cute. She's gonna love it. Oh, look at them right there together, like they're kissing. <laughs> but yeah, so, and then uh, also too, um, I finally got my um, macrame chair hanging up here. I don't know if I showed that to y'all either, but here it goes. You remember I said that I was going to put some pillows in here like when I change out for this for the um the seasons and stuff like that but as of now I just threw these pillows right here over there in it and you can actually swing in it but I'm not gonna let anybody swing in I'm not gonna get it get in it my own self either but I like the way it hangs it's cute so you know of course if I wanted to swing in it I would have to lower my chain so I got more than enough chain up there. I have this chain here double. See right there. And then plus two. Um, if 
I did let someone swing in it or if I um, decide to swing in it myself I think it's a thicker chain that I would have to buy for that which you know no problem to change to squish the chain out but I don't have an intention on swinging in I don't want nobody else swinging in either so but I love the little swing especially for me to get it at the Black Friday store for only one dollar it's cute because this swing retails for like $75, $80 on Amazon, places like that. But mine can't beat the price. And those pillows are so cute sitting over there in it too. And they say this this chair, this swing can hold this chair, I can't say a swing, this chair can hold up to 330 pounds. I can't believe it. I if I weighed 330 pounds, I wouldn't get in it. Because I'd be scared of the fall straight from the ceiling and that's how it hooks up there like that yep but i have so many errands to run i need to get out of here um oh, look at those oh, they're just so pretty she's going to love these but well, not these she's gonna love one of them she's not getting them both but i'm gonna put those things in there i'm gonna shrink wrap and put a real cute pink bow on there she's having a girl you know yep so i just can't wait to see the look on her face when she um when she gets it so but come on crow because we got a lot to do come on out of here my cat in here i can't come on she said he'd follow me everywhere i go come on crow come on you come on come on come on with your spoil yourself come on crow i'm gonna leave you in here but come on, we'll get locked in here. You know you don't want that. Come on. Come on. Come on, kitty, kitty. Come on. Okay, good boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So, I have a lot of errands to run. I need to go and take some things back. And I need to go and um, mail my other phone back off to the... Um, I need to go to UPS so I can melt off to Verizon. I had to change my phone out. And I, when I tell y'all, I can't wait to get that phone out of my possession. Because if I don't melt it back, then I have to pay them $500. And they're not about to get $500 from me. But I thought I had lost the phone over the weekend. So that had me frantic. And it wasn't never lost it was in my car the whole time in the little back pouch on the passenger side. And when I tell y'all that I was glad to see that phone in that car. Oh man. I can't wait to mail it off. And uh, then I need to go and take some things that I bought back that was too little. We're getting ready to, um, we're getting ready for our trip coming up in August, the Navy reunion trip. So I'm in the market for some new luggage. Luggage. I got luggage, I'm sorry. I need another bag to go with the luggage that I got because I'm trying to downsize to prevent paying luggage fee. So I ended up finding some luggage right. And I think it's real cute. Y'all won't see it. I'm going to show it to you. Uh, these are the luggage that I found. Uh, these are the 21 inch carry on. The white one for me. And I got the black one for Vic. But. So we can avoid that fee. That cute. I love the way it looked like um, the old Trundle suitcase. That would make me think about. And I had bought me this bag to um, catch my extras, but I like it, but I don't like it. So I think I'm going to be switching this bag out to another one that I've seen. So. Tell me what y'all think. I know it'll be too late when y'all tell me what you think. 
uh, by the time I get this video up, this bag may be gone. I probably have something else. Um, I actually see one on Amazon that matches that suitcase. Well, in color anyway. And it looks real cute. So I may um, get that instead. But I like the way this bag is made. But I think it's just a little bigger than what I really want to deal with for the suitcase to be as small as, as small as it is. So, but it's a nice little bag and made by Betsy Johnson. Love Betsy. On the thin side too. But this pocket here, it said that you can take the whole entire bag and fold it up inside that pocket when you want to store it but I'm not worried about that part I just might not keep now like the fact that you can hook it on your luggage too so when you're going through the airport or whatever you don't have to be holding that bag on your shoulder you can just pull everything you know like like so but yeah I think I'm gonna trade it out I'll ride around um I'll ride around in the car with you and think about it for a little bit. So maybe buy one, go looking first at some more before I um, refund that one and then regret that I let it go if I can't find anything different or better than that. So, but yeah. Uh, I guess I'll let y'all guys go. This video, I may um, add in another video of where, um, something I want to tell y'all. I can't remember what it was now. But if I think about it, I'll add it into this video. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll probably come back on. But it was so windy today, y'all. It wasn't windy where y'all was at because the wind about an hour ago was blowing so doggone hard. Man, I thought these trees were going to snap. So I had to turn the camera on and start to film the trees because I was just like, oh boy, something here is going down. Well, these trees going to break. So, you know, uh, some of these trees are going to break, but the wind finally calmed down and everything got okay. And I guess, uh, let me grab my purse and get out of here and go we'll take care of my errands. Uh, I'll tell y'all what. I may pick y'all back up when I get to the store that I'm going to. And I may not. But if I do, you know. If I did, if I don't, you know I did. So if I don't, y'all take care and I'll see y'all on the bit, okay? All right. Okay, y'all, look, I don't ran my ear in and everything, right? One of them, anyway. Mm. So, I had to stop and tell y'all about this right here. Do you remember earlier when I was, well, at the end of the video, I was asking y'all, how was y'all day? Was it windy where y'all was at? Okay, so, my sister Pam sends me a message on Messenger, and it's actually a video she sent me, and she's saying, watch the tent. So I'm like, watch the tent. What tent? Because I know I don't own a tent, so what tent is she talking about? Then, so I wrote back, what tent? And she said, well, okay. Uh, it's, it's common, meaning that the video was downloaded. So the video get to me. I open it up, start looking at it. And it's a video of a tent that my mom owned. And the wind take the tent completely down. <laughs> so it is crazy. It's like one second is up doing fine and all good the next second is completely on the ground smashed no good finished kaput so I'm going to insert that video in here it's like a 10 minute video I'm going to try to break it down because it is sent from um, her ring camera so not her ring camera but her security camera so I'm going to try to um, chop it up a little bit so it'll be as long but y'all gotta watch this thing it's crazy how it's up one second and next minute it's gone. So, let me pump me some gas right quick and I'll get there with y'all in a little bit, okay? Hey, y'all. I'm on my way back home now. I got all my errands ran. Um, didn't find no bag that I wanted for me. So, I think what I'm going to do is end up ordering me one that kind of matches my luggage. But I did find a... Um, Adidas bag for big, so you can put his overflow of clothing in because I know just that just that one 
suitcase alone, it's not gonna do it. So yeah, um, trying to downsize to avoid some baggage fees, man. I'm about to begin to rethink this thing, you know, cause um, woo, trying to pack all your things into a carry-on bag and then um, a duffel bag. So you wanna have all that big bag baggage. But I, I don't know. I, I found this little uh, Adidas bag for him to like throw in extra shoes or you know some extra stuff that he may have. And I found a cute little bag for my luggage on Amazon. That's it's like forty nine dollars. I don't want to pay it, but I'm not gonna have no other choice if I want something that look you know decent versus these bags that I've been. I've been uh, running across in stores like Marshalls, uh, TJ Maxx, Ross, whatever. They all the same old, same old bag. But um, the one I've seen on Amazon is this cream color, um, not green, like an off-white, almost the color of my bag, my 20-inch uh, my carry-on. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that tonight. So um, I'll have the time and everything if I need to try to send it back if it don't match or too small or whatever. I'll buy myself enough time for that. But yeah, so I stopped by and got us some Panda Express to eat. Back there on the back seat, I don't know if you can see it back there chilling. And I'm gonna um, insert that video <laughs> of the wind tearing that my mama um, tent today. Man, that thing is a mess for the wind was not playing today. It was blowing so hard even in my yard. I got a clip because I thought something was about to go down and they come down and didn't do anything, thank God, you know. We got enough stuff going on without the wind tearing up stuff. But yep. So I'm gonna get off this uh, camera here and uh, pay attention to this road and I will see you all in the next video unless I add something to this which I doubt I will but until then y'all stay sweet okay and I will see you all later bye bye